Hey everybody, this is Raymond Camden, and today I'm going to show you a real quick example of the Visual Studio Cordova tools uh, that adds both IntelliSense and debugging to Visual Studio Code. Uh, this is a free extension from Microsoft, and it's pretty easy to use. So let's look at a quick example. So I'm going to make a project, and I'm just using the uh, default uh, Cordova template. I'm going to add iOS. Now the extension supports both Android and iOS, so you don't have to uh, just use iOS. All right, I'm going to add one quick plugin. Plugin add Cordova plugin device. All right, cool. So uh, let's open this up in Visual Studio Code. And there we go. All right, so this is just, again, a very vanilla Cordova project. I'm going to go into debugging, and I'm going to add the Cordova environment. Now, there's all kind of different settings that you could tweak, but I don't have to really worry about that. Uh, and from here, I can actually start running it or actually attaching it to an emulator. So, so far, so good. I want to point out, uh, back on the extensions webpage, they have a very specific instruction about uh, debugging on iOS. Make sure you actually do this or it's not going to work. Okay, so I have some code that I wrote already that I'm going to modify, or actually I'm going to copy it over into the project I just made. So we will go into here and I will copy the index.html file, like so, replace and a JavaScript file. And we'll take a quick look at what I did. It's pretty minimal. Replace, all right. So if we go back into the file system and look at the index.html, all I did was add a button. And back in the JavaScript code, all I've done is did a quick query selector and on touch in, I'm just going to alert device.cordova. All right, so this is now ready to debug. So I'm going to go ahead and put a breakpoint in and switch to debugging and do run iOS on simulator. And there we go. So it's going to start working and it's compiling and doing all that. And you can see it thinking over here and it's almost ready. And there we go. If I open this up and then bam, there's a button. I click and it stopped. And at this point, I could do everything that you could do in a normal debugging environment. Uh, just to make this really simple, we will look at the device variable, like so, and I could see everything running there. And again, so this is free uh, from Microsoft. Uh, it also adds IntelliSense, so you know, I could do things like device dot and see the rest of the stuff. Uh, it's free and runs with Visual Studio Code and again supports both Android and iOS.